Windows 10 hides certain files and folders to try to keep us safe and keep it running smoothly, but what if you need access to them? Stay tuned to learn how to show those hidden files. Hey everybody, Mike here with IT Pro TV, and today I'm going to show you how to show or view hidden files on Windows 10. Now before we get started, make sure you click on the link to subscribe down below and click on that little bell icon so you can get those notifications and not miss out on any of our upcoming content. All right, so you're on Windows 10 and you're trying to find a file or a folder or maybe you're following a forum post and you can't see it because it's hidden, right? Windows 10 hides several files and folders from us intentionally to try to keep us safe from ourselves because they're files that the operating system uses and really we shouldn't be making changes to them. There are times, however, that we need to see them. And so how do we turn that on? How do we tell Windows 10, hey, look, I know that we have to be careful, but I want to see all those hidden files and folders. It's actually just a little check mark, pretty easy to do. I'm going to show you how to find that as well as hide your own files, just in case you want to keep something out of view. All right, so join me on my screen here, and I'm going to open up File Explorer on my Windows 10 machine, and I'm going to go to a location that I know has some hidden files and folders in it, and that's my profile. So I'm navigating into my user profile here on Windows 10, and at first glance, everything looks normal. You see all of my normal folders associated with my profile, my documents, my pictures, music, things like that. All right, what I want to do is up on my View ribbon, right up here at the top, there's actually a little check mark right here for hidden items, all right? All I have to do, you guessed it, is put a little check mark right there. And all of a sudden you'll see several more folders appear in my view. They're kind of grayed out. And this is a popular one right here, app data. Uh, I have had to go in there several times to, to take care of or fix a problem with an application. So that's one you might have to find. Uh, change some settings for a particular application. That might be where that file is located. You'll also see down here at the bottom, ntuser.dat. That's my actual profile. It's a hidden file that Windows uses. I don't need to modify it typically, but it was hidden before, and now we can see it. All right, so showing those hidden files and folders is pretty straightforward, but that's not all of them. There's actually more, all right? Those files and folders are hidden using a file attribute called hidden appropriately enough. And I'm going to show you how to turn that on in just a second. But there's some other files and folders that are still hidden even though we've checked that little check mark. Let me show you how to bring those into view. All right, I am going to go back to my view menu, but this time I'm going to click on options way over here on the far right hand side. And underneath my options, I'm going to go to my view menu, which is going to be this middle tab right there. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and what you'll see is another little option about hiding files. Hide protected operating system files recommended. And it is recommended because these are, again, files that we don't need to be messing with on a normal basis. But occasionally we might need them. So I can simply uncheck that, and it's going to warn me, be real careful. These are files you shouldn't be playing with. You can mess with the stability of your system if you do. So keep that in mind. Back things up before you play. Uh, and I'm going to click Yes. And now I'm going to click OK. And now look at all the different folders, right? We had app data. Now I have another shortcut there called application data. I can see a folder called cookies. I see a shortcut to local settings, right? I'm seeing a whole bunch of things that I didn't see before when I had just turned on the hidden items. So there's two places you really want to go if you want to see or view hidden items. The view menu or the view ribbon right across the top and selecting that check mark for hidden items and then your options and the view tab and hide protected operating system files. Check one, uncheck the other, and you'll see everything your operating system has. All right, now I promised you I would show you how to hide a file as well. I'm gonna turn my view, uh, actually, yeah, we'll leave it like this. So currently I'm showing everything, right? I'm gonna turn off the operating system files for a second. So let's go ahead and hide those again. And that's a good idea, you know, if you uncheck that, and you needed to make a change to something, once you're done, maybe check it again so you don't see them because they, I don't like it. It clutters up my view with things that I typically don't uh, need to see. I'm gonna make a new file, and I'm just gonna call it a demo.txt, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I am going to right-click on that file and choose Properties all the way down there at the very bottom, all right? 
on that properties for that file. And you can do the same thing to a folder if you wanted to, right? There is an attribute right here called hidden. Easy enough, right? I just put a check mark there and click OK, and now it's hidden. Notice how the icon turned a little gray. Like, well, it's not hidden, Mike. I still see it. Remember, we turned on the ability to see hidden files and folders. So let's turn that off. And notice my file is gone, right? Now, it's not gone. I just can't see it. I can actually still get to it if I know the exact name and path. If I type in backslash demo.txt, right, I can still open that file. I can still uh, type in this file. I can save it and I can close it just like normal, but it's not there. All right, so maybe you want to put your secret recipe for chocolate chip cookies there and nobody will be able to get to it unless they turn on. Again, it's not a huge security thing, right? This isn't going to keep bad guys out of it. Don't store passwords in here thinking you're safe because all anybody has to do is turn that on and there is your super secret file sitting right there, okay? So it's just something you can maybe have a little fun with or keep away from prying eyes, you know, but again, not a huge security thing. There's other solutions uh, for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this content. That was a look at how we can view hidden files. We can view our hidden operating system files and even how we can hide our own files. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more Windows 10 content coming your way.